Obama phone? Yes, everybody in Cleveland, low minority, got Obama phone. Keep Obama in president, you know? He what? gave us a phone. He gave you he a phone? More. How do he give you a phone? You, you sign up if you're, you're on full stamps, you're on Social Security, you got low income, you disability. All right, remember that from the 2012 presidential campaign telling everyone about her Obama phone? Well, a National Review contributor recently learned firsthand that you need not receive any government benefits to get a free taxpayer-funded phone. During her investigation, the reporter applied for Obama phones in more than one location. Now, she entered her truthful information, including her income, her insurance information, and despite the fact that she did not qualify in any way, shape, matter, or form, she was able to rack up three shiny new Obama phones in no time. There was reaction. Fox News political analyst Angela McGlowan and Fox News contributor Jamu Green is with us. Uh, Jamu, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, why are you laughing? I'm laughing well, I didn't because even say anything yet. That, that video, that woman in that video, bless her heart, she is out of her mind. What the heck is an Obama phone? There, there are these phones that have been given to welfare Obama recipients phones. for yeah. for over a decade. Mm -hmm. But Since Obama has nothing to do with it. Obama has nothing to do with it. There's no taxpayer funding involved ah. in it. So I don't uh, know where me. she is getting this from. Okay, Jamu, what world are bill. you living in? What world are you living in? First uh, the of all, reality, the program, the real world, was the life. <laughs> The program was a lifeline program that was created in 1984 where the government wanted people to have access to phones. Having said that in 2008, was, was the, Obama the program in 1984? If you was let me finish, then you find out. If you let me finish, then you'll be educated on something. In 2008, the program was expanded. After Obama took office, the program went from paying tax dollars 822 million to 2.1 billion the fcc oversees this program jamu and they found in auditing their own providers five of their providers 13.8 million people received these phones six million people were not eligible <laughs> angela there is yes. no taxpayer money involved in this. This was a program. Who's for it then? Let, let's 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 look wait, at the he, history wait, of it. Who pays for it? Program. This was a program that was started under President who pays Bush. for it? That was actually linked to a grant from a, a company that was set up under President Clinton. That was founded. This company, the legacy of that Jamil? company, actually started under Jamil? Franklin you Roosevelt, who pays and it's for tied it? back. So where are we getting money from? All right, all right, guys. So wait, 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 a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hang on. Hang on. Account? We just put it away in an Jim, escrow account. Is Angela, that hang on a second. I, I think we spent I two point two. Jamu, give me give me a break here. We spent two point <laughs> two billion dollars a year. Sean, and you said taxpayers don't we? pay for it's it. It's not taxpayers. Excuse me. There's well, where does it come from? There's a me. company. There's a corporation. Where that does that money come from? from? Cell phone. They take fees from cell phone users. I got it. Now, I agree with Where you. Where does it There's come fraud. from? We should get rid of the fraud. We should be talking about how should this cell phone company, this this foundation Who that was pays set the up money? to provide these phones. You won't answer that question. Jamu, taxpayers pay for it. Rural it's areas. not a private company. It's, it's this taxpayers This is not a federal government. This is not a federal government program. So if then why do you have three days of federal for federal assistance? But why are you calling it Obama phones? What does he have she anything to do Obama with this? She called it Obama phone, not me. I didn't call call name Obama it. Phone. Yeah. The program was a Angela. lifeline program created in 1984. But Jamu, with this administration, Actually, more people are receiving. It's called safely. Okay. You it's know, go safely. ahead. Go ahead, Jamu. Go and ahead. Do your monologue, we sweetie. Should, go ahead. We should address the fraud. The private companies that are involved in, in facilitating this program and who have put out their marketers All to right, try I to get one as last many question people for Angela. into this program, Angela. Please, they thank should you, fix Sean. it. That, Angela. That's legitimate. Hang on. But Jim, 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 you give us a break? Unfair, Jim, untrue. And just downright kind of dirty. Angela. Okay, I tell you what, Jimu, debate yourself next time, okay? What, how about that? So you can have your monologue, okay? All right, Angela, last Angela. word. Yes, yes. Go ahead. The bottom line is this, Sean. Uh, public assistance has expanded under this administration. When you have so many people receiving federal funding, welfare, public assistance, you're going to have fraud. It's a noble program, but we need to audit it. We ought not be spending, or people that have phone service ought not be taxed $2.2 billion a year for other people's phones, period. And Thank it you is both. tax dollars. Coming up yes. next, your choice for tonight.